Final tutorial. Polymos. You begin with a single set of misfortune. What? 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 Start again. Am I doing everything from scratch? Oh, that's going to be time consuming. Surely not. Hello, Alexander of Greece. Oh, okay, so my father's already died. You are the second leader of Greece after your father, Philip, was brutally assassinated. In this tutorial, you start with the knowledge that Rome paid the Thracians. Okay, so we're just picking back up to assassinate your father. You have located the Romans to the west of Greece. The Greek army is stationed in southern Greece and will take some time to arrive. You need to increase your military infrastructure and defenses before attacking Rome. Alexander, are you ready to lead the glorious army of Greece to defeat Rome? Oh, yeah. Okay. Polymos, the Greek word for war, is approaching. You must prepare for war with Rome and destroy them. Although, if I'm on the offensive, why do I need to make defenses? The Greek hoplite is a unique unit specific to Greece. Every nation has access to two unique units. The first is available to build in cities that have a stronghold. I don't know how to get strongholds or citadels or garrisons or any of that, so this is all news to me. And the second is available to build in cities that have a citadel. Urban improvement enables city governor, unlocks hoplite, enables citadel. Requires urban, lush, temperate or arid. Requires four active laws. What does that mean? Four active laws. I have no idea. Requires garrison. One active law. Culture week. I don't really know. Um, to build a stronghold, your nation must have four active laws, which you still won't tell me what that means, and the city must be at developing culture and have a garrison. To build a citadel, your nation must have six active laws, and the city must be at strong culture and have a stronghold. Open the laws screen. Where the fuck is the laws screen? I, I don't know what the laws screen is. Is that the laws screen? I guess. I don't really know how I get those active laws, but sure. Open the law screen and enact your fourth law. A law group contains a choice between two laws. You can see if a law group is available to enact from the flashing attention icon. Click on either of tyranny or constitution from the sovereignty group, or either of colonies or serfdom from the navigation group to enact your fourth law. Then use your worker to construct a stronghold. Once completed, train a hoplite in the city. Okay, all parts of what old world will be enabled except for the ambitions outside of the story. Okay. Wow, okay. Tyranny, can I only pick one or do I get to pick both? Plus 20 training a year, all cities plus eight gold per year per military unit in territory. Upkeep, oof, civics. Orator opinion plus 10. Cost 400. I think they will cost 400. Yep. Unlocks decrees in capital. Mm hmm. Colonies can buy tiles. What does that mean? Move bonus along the neutral river. Okay, to my opinion. Serfdom. All farms and pastures plus 20% output. Mm. Ah, I just need 400 um, civics to do another one, okay. Alrighty. What's happening? What's going on? Where are we? Okay, so I've got this city. Olenith, Olinthi, Olynthus. You're training an axe man, which will take seven years. Interesting that we got these little rings. Oh my god, why is my land so big? Holy shit, my land is massive. Um, we've got Syracuse, sling it in five years. Still don't have access to this bloody grove. Don't know how to get it. And then we have Regian, and a chariot in eight years. What is that? A shrine of Hades. Quarry, quarry, quarry. Oh, it's a pasture! Right, we never finished building one last time. That's why I didn't realise what it was. What are you? You're a hamlet. Hmm. 
Or another Hamlet. Interesting. Another Hamlet. What is the benefit of the Hamlets? It gets you extra gold, but it costs food. Quarry. This is a very tiny map. Okay, so that's where Rome's at. Okay, so we've got the fourth floor. Now I can build a stronghold. Uh, probably in this city? I think, maybe? Hanging Gardens, Oracle, Garrison, Shrine of Zeus, wait. Uh, we need to build a, yeah, enable stronghold. Okay, so I can build a garrison there. You can build a stronghold immediately. Does that mean this is already a garrison? Okay, well, just do it there then. I guess. It's hard, it's really hard, as I said before, just starting mid scenario is really quite complicated. Okay, we've got plus 19 to food, plus 40 to mining, plus 41 to ore. I don't have a lumber mill, but do I know forestry? Can you take a step this way? Thank you. Is that a wonder? Yeah, wonder of the world. Um, oh, I can get some barracks. But idle melee units. That's actually very useful. Do we have a barracks? I don't know what half these buildings are. Uh, lumber mill. No, we don't fucking have forestry yet. God damn it. Do we need machinery? I want forestry. <laughs> See, forestry is available. What does machinery even get me? I don't even know what that is. Must be unlimbered before attacking. Splash damage. Ranged siege. I don't want ranged siege. I just want a goddamn lumber mill. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? Okay. Shrine. Theater. Garrison. <sighs> Do we just want more barracks? Or... They're on a garrison. Why not? Uh, are we doing shrine, theater, or another garrison? Oh, you're a barracks. Uh, let's just build a bajillion garrisons. I don't really know the relevance, but let's do it. Um, Queen Consort Moralia, and you have a daughter who is 15, and your brother is still in existence. Do you have a wife? Nope. Oh, so your sister dies no matter what. Okay. What's your relationship with your wife? Terrible! Bloody awful! I can't fix that, because I don't have enough influence. Enough civics. Damn. In prison? Holy shit. Plus 40, plus 40. Wait, my daughter is 15, but she's all right. Oh, it's my heir, that's why. Gosh. Gosh. Why do we not family gifts? Nope, can't afford anything. This is really just a time thing. Alexander the Just. Queen Consort Moralia the Builder, your wife, is now the head of Greek. Pa oh, okay. Wow, my wife is the head of the church. That's original. Their opinion of you has gone from cautious to upset. I'm sorry, how is it my fault that your opinion's gone down? We are different, a builder versus hero. Wasn't like I made that choice, did I now? Jesus, the game's conspiring against me. Train facilities. Training facilities generate training, which can be used to promote units, assign generals, and execute military-based missions. Training facilities also give experience towards promotions to any appropriate unit that stays in the facility's tile. For instance, melee units gain experience when they are idle and end their turn on a barracks. Each of your cities already has a barracks. 
You currently have three barracks. Improve your generation of training by building two more barracks in any of your cities. Okay, that's nice, but they're, they're all busy building garrisons. Don't die. <laughs> I need time. Or more workers. You know, that's an option too, I suppose. Because they only have three workers. Oh well. It's fine. Oof, that's so slow. Scouting about. You once heard a saying from a military genius named Sun Tzu, which goes, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. The meaning of the saying is that if you know where the enemy is and know where your own troops are, then you'll be able to make good tactical decisions. One way to find out about the enemy is to use a scout to locate their cities and units. The scout has the ability to hide in trees, in neutral, unowned, or friendly land. To explore your enemy's territory without them becoming aware of your presence. Ensure that your scout units keep to neutral or friendly trees. I'm not sure the, the trees particularly care whether they're neutral or friendly to me. Scouts are hidden on all tiles if your leader is a schemer. A scout has arrived from the south to explore around the Roman lands and locate their army. Remember to use trees to hide your scouting from Roman neutral land. This may mean exploring a little ways and then backtracking to the safety of the trees. If your scout is spotted by Rome in neutral land, then you will fail this ambition in the tutorial. You will not fail this ambition if your scout is spotted by Rome while still within Greece's borders. Ugh. Sounds like failure waiting to happen. Oh, hi. That was quick. Cool. Great. Uh, do you want to build a stronghold? What is the land already? Who is building the stronghold? By the way. That's a garrison. You were building the stronghold, weren't you? Yeah. I don't need a second stronghold. So hold off on that for the moment. You need to build a second barracks. I don't bloody know where you're building it though. So can you just step out for a sec? Barracks. There is no better place that adjacent gets me point one extra orders. So go for it. Mm-hmm. You are so getting me in trouble, aren't you? <clears throat> oh boy. We're in trouble now. Chariot six, slinger three, exit five. God, these take forever. Oh man. Scout spotted. Your scout has been spotted by Rome. They've been made aware of our plans. Things go downhill for Greece after your scout was spotted and gave away your plans. Without the element of surprise, Rome was ready for Greece's attack and repelled it easily. Dude! I can't even see a city. There's a building. I'm outside the territory. I'm in neutral territory. Wow. You may undo back to the previous turn and try a different move. Oh, whatever. So why'd you kick me out? Weird. It's weird that it tells you, press the back button to continue, and then like, boots you back to main menu. Oh. I didn't even- oh there you are. We have to go back a turn. So how am I supposed to spot their armies if I can't get closer? I'm very confused about how this is supposed to work. Okay, there's a garrison literally right there. It's cause for concern. I don't really know what they want of me. Find the army. Like, well, I can't really move anywhere outside my territory so good luck with that one mm. 
Yep, I got nothing. I don't really know what to do with you. I don't. I don't know how to not be seen. Queen Consort Moralia, the builder, your wife, cannot let go of grievances and is often angry, a most bitter person. Princess Irixio, your daughter, has now the builder trait. Events. Old World is not just a game about leading a nation to victory. Old World is also about the characters and their developing stories. The event system, blah, 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 blah. That's great. My care factor was quite zero at all of that. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I guess you need another barracks. If you could please move. Barracks. Stronghold, garrison. So yeah, I was about to say, it would make sense to build it there. That gets me the number of barracks you need in four years. My wife is a horrible, horrible lady. Oh, I can finally influence her. I have enough influence. Oh, my daughter doesn't share my religion. Oh God, we have a horrible relationship. Why? Oh. How old are you? 19. Oh, it's time for you to get married as well. I won't. I have enough influence for that. Pleased, cautious, friendly. Have fun with that! <laughs> what are you gonna build? Stronghold? Theatre. Go build the theatre. Yeah, dude, I'll be honest. Fuck knows what to do with you. It's almost like you go in and then you gotta go back out with enough movement on your turn. But like, I've spotted nothing extra, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing with you and how to succeed in my task. Alrighty. Options. 26, 29. Oh god, they're so old. Uh, he's not great. He's timid. And he doesn't like me. He's at least just cautious. Problem is, I've got different professions to her, and that usually isn't good, but too fucking bad. King Alexander the Justice Idol and can be sent on a. Yeah, I know, bruh, dude, just. Oh, you guys can go. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Can we go back to the marriage thing? You could miss it, you can tutor a child on these. It's just money. I've completely lost that screen. Ring contacts you with an intriguing proposal. If you'd be willing to part with some of your luxuries, I don't think I have any, do I? To happily round out your court with either a talented trader or minister. We could certainly see our way clear to do that if it means adding a new merchant to the court. We would happily make that trade for the opportunity to add a new minister. Send, do I have fur? I mean, I don't know what I have and I don't know how to get it. Fur and dyes. Okay. And you get a diplomat. Or I get a hero. Sure. Vispan Vipsania joins the court. Her attitude in aptitude in matters of state will keep Greece moving forward. Hi. Anyway, you go take uh, Olynthus. Yes? Yes. Sorry. Neo Neoptolemus of Olynthus. Leading the next generation. Oligarch Demetrius of Pella meets with you to discuss court matters, as he has recently taken up the mantle of family head of the Sipsalids Fair in Kip Kip. No, I'm not going to try it. In the wake of Stratonese the Orator's death. He converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, Stratonis. Stratoniki is probably what it is. God rest her soul, was non-committal about your relationship based upon all correspondence I have read. I came here to see for myself what sort of person you are. How shall you respond to this? 
Well, he's not charming, so rip. I could be a loyal patron if we could reach an understanding. Minus money. And he becomes influenced by the king. Nice. He becomes jealous. Fuck that. Carrying the torch. Queen Consort Moralia the Builder meets with you to discuss spiritual matters. Oh yeah, she's the head of the religion. And she's recently taken on the mantle of Greek paganism in the wake of Periander the Younger's death. She converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden after attending a sacrifice, until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, Periander, may he rest in peace, was less than pleased based upon all correspondences I have read. I came here to see for myself what sort of person you are. You're my wife. <laughs> uh... I am a loyal patron of Greek paganism. Please don't be so pissed at me. Yes, plus 20, finally, positive. Can you, can you reproduce if your spouse is at a negative with you? Out of curiosity. And she's still upset at me. I've got one more year. And then we'll convert her to our religion. Can't, because this stupid head of the state doesn't fucking like me. <sighs> this is so frustrating. It is so frustrating. I do not know how to make these people like me. Choose governor. Yeah, the new chick in the furthest city possible. Not the worst idea. Syracuse. Make Alexander. Ambassador Xanthropy is idle and can be sent on a mission. Leave council, national peace of Rome, influence. Uh, I'm already busy. Um, Christ minimum pleased. Requires minimum pleased. Okay, you've got nothing. You've also got nothing. Oh, no, hold on. You can give family gifts to the family. What? Who? I've got... I've got dyes. Who wants dyes? Um, I don't know how to figure out who wants what. How do I figure out what family? This is the problem I have. I don't know how to find a family tab. To find out what it is my family's need. Okay, here we go. Send dies to them. Opinion from any luxury plus 40. Opinion from missing dies. Okay. Send it to him. We don't just give that shit to them. Yeah. Okay, and what's the other thing? He's idle and can be sent on a mission. He can't do bloody anything. Um, what about all these people who don't like you? Oligarchs, oligarchs, oligarchs. Oh, this oligarch actually likes you. Hm. Oh, I don't have enough thingy in. Never mind. I don't have anything to do. Uh, hoplite, right? You wanted a hoplite? I can get you a hoplite. You want to build. I've already got the extra barracks. So don't worry about that. I can build a farm. Shrine of Zeus. What do the people in this place want? You know, they're not too bad. Not too bad at all. So. Hmm. Yeah, let's go build a farm. Oh, hi. Um, Slinger. Do you want to go stand here? It's better if you idle over there. At a general. Wants the roll. Um, Tempsey Hill 
on neutral territory. Not gonna die. Less than one H uh, more than one HP. Mm. Seems like the best option overall, I'll be honest with you. Will no longer govern Syracuse. Eh, okay, yeah, there's that. Um He will leave the council as the Chancellor. And you're not, oh, so it really limits the options, doesn't it? Okay, that's you. Just chilling there. Good for you. Ah, uh, don't know what to do with you. Mediterranean Sea, yay. Into the forest. Oh, okay, maybe not into the forest then. And y'all are fine. You successfully exerted your influence upon Princess Erixo, but appear weak in the process. Oh, wow. Princess Erixo and Prince Consort Neoptolem, whatever the fuck his name is, have given birth to a daughter. Okay, we, clearly we're having a matriarchy here. Duchess Mirtale. Why does it look like a real child? That is terrifying. Scout spotted! By who? I kid you not. By who? By what? The sheep? Who spotted them? Whatever. Whatever. Bite me, game. Honestly, bite me. Um. Hold the control key and click undo. So stupid. I, I honestly do not know how the fuck to complete their objective. Other than just being in a forest permanently. Because everything else isn't bloody working. Oh, do I have to go through all this shit again? <sighs> Create agent network in Ostia. For 200 in Ostia. Will return. Requires a spy master. I can't get a spy master yet because I need a fucking portcullis. Did you at least get married? God. Ah. So it undid all of that. So you're not married and you don't have a child? Oh, fuck me. Why do you keep going back so far? That's done. What the fuck were you building? Probably the farm. If memory serves. You go over there, add a general. Someone who doesn't leave their position. It's gonna be you again. You are idle. You need to build a hoplite. I love redoing things I've already done, don't you? And I can't do anything with y'all. Nope. Okay. Oh, hey. We don't get any negatives now. Thank God for that. Oh, no. They gave birth to a son now? The Mystocles. God damn it. Again, they kind of look like real children. It's really disconcerting. Come back religion to session. Make chancellor. I really can't fix my relationship with bloody anybody. Except her. What is her opinion? Pretty damn good. 
I know it says cautious, but it's plus 70. It's the best relationship I have ever out of anybody. are just chilling there. Yeah, I can promote you. God. Focus. Shield bearer. Engineer. Go get him, tiger. Chariot. Two years. Hoplite. Two years. Axeman. One year. Dude, I really... Does this count as forest? Oh shit, it's a, it's a shrub. It's a shrub! Get back! Can I not go into that area? Is there a save facility? Huh! Quick saving's a thing! Okay, so I can't go into their territory. How do I find... I kind of pray to the south then if that's the case. Either that or I've got to... Go along the north. Scout spotted! Surprise, praise! He's gonna come to tell me he's gained charisma. Doesn't matter because we're rolling back. I rolled back and forestry is still discovered. Okay. Sure. Free chariot. Oh, okay. Um, civics. Hell's yeah. Wait, how many years? One year. Even though Forest Street now has another year. <laughs> uh, where's my scout in the end after all that? You need to force march. This way. How do I force you to go? There you go. Okay. He still gets the charisma. And I can still get the civics. Um, I'm going to assume we want more... Battle prowess. Although they kind of seem like more useful for that. Apprentice officer. Okay. Sure. What does that, what does that get me? Oh, just extra stuff from being a specialist. Yeah, why not? Bargaining chips, your vassals, Slid family, know well that you have access to luxuries they do not. They want what they see as their share, but are willing to make a trade. If you would be looking okay. Oh, my dies. I forgot. My dies are still sitting there. Great merchant. Or a court soldier. Pyrrhus has joined the court. Okay. Pyrrhus the orator. Um, the Oracle. Do I have that much? No, I do not. Do I have the money? Possibly? Oracle. Hmm. Go here. I don't know why you couldn't just go down, but whatever. The Oracle will cost me 746 gold. <gasps> That's rough. What does it get me? Free agent network in all holy cities. I don't really know what that means. Plus one tech card hand size. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Not really necessary though. Maybe let's just focus on building the things we need, like a bomb.
Ugh, quite a sand consolidation. Whatever. Yeah, you guys are chilling. Can you go stand on a... Does it have to be barracks? Actually, I think that occurs to me. It probably has to be a barracks. Shrine. Odeon. Garrison. Where's the barracks at? Barracks. At a general. Yeah, not really with somebody who wants a zero. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Plus 5% bonus per year. That's 25%. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I'd rather just. Promote. Uh, you guys. Say if if vital. No, Are you guys get any XP by just chilling there, or should you be moving to a barracks? I think you need to be moving to barracks. I'll be honest with you. Might you again? Why not? Highlander from Hill. Strange units. Ignores distance modifier. It leads to marksmen. Alexander the Good. Yay, my military is improving. I'm using all my training, <laughs> which is what it's there for. And in hindsight, maybe I, I should have picked that rather than my civics boost, but we're done now. Yeah, bruh, I, I don't know. Your options are to move in and back. Oh, no, wait, I can't go into your land. So I just quick save, run away. Run away. God, they've got a lot of land. And I still haven't found their damn army. Can you keep going, by the way? Your scout comes to the edge of the forest near the Roman border. Rows of orderly tents stand with colourful pennants flying from their peaks and snapping in the breeze. Your scout can make out the insignia of Roman melee units, archer units, and in the very centre of the military camp, the unmistakable emblem of the legendary Roman Hastatus formidable army, but one that you are sure you can defeat. Ha! You're kidding me. You've completed the uh, mission. Where is this goddamn second barracks that I was creating? Holy shit, look at them all. One, two, three, four, five. Pro probably more white that I can't see. Oh my god. Uh, if I decide to go through my scout, he's dead, by the way. I need to build up a lot of things. Okay. You're farming. You're building. Uh, you're building the barracks. Okay, one more year. <sighs> Alexander the Strong. You successfully exerted influence upon Governor His His Vip Sarnia the Hero. And Princess Erixo has reflected on her recent experiences, motherhood I presume, and absorbed many important lessons. Although she wasn't she a chancellor? No, she's just in there. She's gained plus one wisdom. New barracks. Your hardy work has completed two more barracks. This will increase the amount of training generated each year. Yay! Cities oh my god, look at my training's good. With cities with barracks will train units more quickly. You may also move melee units onto barracks, allowing them to earn X. Experience each year. Leave there long enough and they may even level up and receive a free promotion. Greek hoplite. People come from all, all around to line the streets and cheer as the first Greek hoplite marches out the city gates. Each nation has two unique traits. Greek has the hoplite and phalangite. Phalangiti? <laughs> I don't know. They have the Hastatus and legionary units. Alexander the Noble. Enact a fourth law. And train a hoplite. Boom. The Greek army has arrived from the south. Oh, has it now? You've been given a large amount of training to prepare the army. Promote your units and assign generals to some. When you are ready, move at least seven units of your army to the highlighted staging area on the map. 
Alexander the Noble has started a new ambition. Okay. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, did you say? No, you said seven. Holy shit, you weren't kidding. Okay. Variety is required, though I do want these guys to continue to level up, you know? There are my hoplites. Well, is that a barracks? Please go to the barracks. That's the weirdest route you could have taken. I want you guys to have a general, but the problem is... He will no longer govern Syracuse. That is fine. I'm going to put him in charge of those guys. I've got to wait another round. You guys need a governor. Take Chilonis the scholar. Um, you don't have any other hoplites, do you? No, you can train another lot of hoplites. How long do you take? Four years. Well, I'm not in a rush to continue, so there's no reason why I can't just get another lot of you guys. Okay, it's four years. Okay. I don't really want a siege weapon, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sure they're great. Promote Eagle Eye. Get some horsemen. Promote Shield Bearer Herbalist. Plus four HP from heal action. Okay. Strike and combat. You can have Strike. That was you and you? No, it was you and you. You guys. Oh, they did come with hoplites. Never mind. Oh well. Fortify. Promote. Make y'all bloodthirsty. I need to start moving into people into position so I know who I've got where. Um, I think I'll take a second lot of archers. I don't have any generals left. Oh, we've got the Prince Consort. Oh, we've got options. We've totally got options. Oh, I already did some. I promoted you guys as well. Right. Can't give you a general just yet. Oh, yeah, my axeman. know what to get you to be honest. A rancher. Or I can get a poet or an officer. Get apprentice officer I think and then a master officer. Yeah. Better options me thinks. Oh these builders are gonna be the death of me. Go build a theater. Go build a shrine. Go build. Hey, we can build a lumber mill, right? A lumber mill, yes. Fuck it. Seven, no, seven orders. I thought I had seven lumber. No, 320 lumber. That's good. Okay, you might have to build several lumber mills actually at that rate. Alrighty, and really not much I can do. I have no civics. So Yay. Okay, I know they like want experience and shit, but So you get six points what is it, three points per year? I don't know. Start getting y'all into position. Slinger in the back. Archer. In the back. Archer. What's it in the back? You guys. Front. 
You guys. Run. anybody else did we where are my x-men i assume you're melee yep. get as close as you can did they get as close yeah okay so they just get as close as they can when you do that good to know chariots i didn't upgrade my chariots well shit okay we'll get into position um and then i'll promote you heckler this is general, steadfast. Hmm. God. Promote. Tough. Promote. Steadfast. Oh. God, too. I could have done marksman, but done now. We got 300 thingy left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've just got to get them into like relevant positions. Give me another turn. We'll get there. Oh, your brother still feels fierce. Is any sane man? Oh, is this dude sane? No, nope, he's insane. But he never lets it stop him. He gains courage. That's right. He keeps getting courage. Governor Lanarkey of Olynthus has converted to Greek Paganism. Lysander of Regan has converted to Greek Paganism. Alrighty. Frontliner, please go to the front. To the front. To the front. To the back. To the back. To the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it seven, yeah? The highlighted area. I swear you only said seven, but I guess now you want every single one filling the area? Apprentice officer completed, you say. Master officer? Sounds like a good idea. Whoa, where the hell did that come from? It was only a hundred and something. Whew. Jesus. Duke Maliga has converted. Not bad. A keen suitor of plants and animals. Princess Erixo, your daughter, is a naturalist of some fame. Okay. I'm using the governor suboptimally, I do realize that. Your daughter and prince consort have given birth to a son, Duke Claestines. That's a lot of children. Your army is now ready to attack Rome. Alexander the Glorious. Capturing cities. It is now time to avenge your father. Declare war on Rome and invade their lands with your army. Your objective is to capture a Roman city. You have some Onegas? Which are siege units. Siege units are fantastic at battering down a city's defences. To use an onager, move it within attacking range of the city. You can hover the cursor over a unit to see its attack range. Outlined in red, some siege units like the onager require them to be unlimbered before firing, which can be done by clicking on limber on the unit's action menu. It takes one turn for a rage. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A few archer units are included in your army. Archers are good at damaging enemy units from afar or battering down a city's defenses. Most ranged units may move and fire in the same turn. Nice. Mounted units, including the horsemen units in your army, have an ability called rout. After killing an enemy unit, an, a unit with route will advance into that tile and may make another attack on an adjacent unit. It is possible to create route chains where a unit will route a number of enemies units in a row. Mounted units are great at cleaning up a battlefield after your ranged units have damaged an advancing enemy army. Use onigas and archers to batter down the city's defenses. When the city's defenses are nearly gone, bring in your hoplites to finish off the city. Keep your horsemen units close by to pounce on any approaching armies. Huh. Huh. Free court scholar? Sure. Please build another lumber mill. Thanks. 
colonies or serfdom? Nobles in the court insist that we clarify our stance on economic systems. Do we support policies on colonies abroad or do we explore serfdom here at home? A nation must grow and expand or people should work their own land. The court will choose the laws. There you go, I made a decision. Um, okay. So I'm attacking a city. Wherever that may be. I'm so dead. So dead. Whoops, I don't want that. I want quick save. Okay. You. I don't know where we're going, but I require you to go first. And my ranged. I require you to advance a little bit as well. At this point, I can't see anything I want to attack. Everything can just move in. can move in. Let's start with over here, shall we? Sorry! Not sorry. Oh, of course I put you very far away. Can't attack any of those things. Okay. This person's still bloody alive. Can someone kill them? Please. Okay. You're fatigued. You guys can move up. You guys can massively move up. You can't move. Okay. Prince Consort has converted Greek paganism. Yay! And the family as a whole. Okay, some leader abilities. Some leaders have special abilities you may use during war. These abilities depend on the archetype of your leader. Alexander is a hero leader, and his special wartime ability is to launch an offensive. To execute this mission, the hero leader must be the general of a unit. Uh, we did do that, yes. The launch offensive mission will reduce the cooldown effect on any adjacent military unit and add plus one orders per unit affected by the mission. This effectively means that, for the cost of some training, a hero leader general can allow a group of units to have a second attack on the same turn, which can be very powerful. Other leader abilities include a builder's leader's Workers may build urban tiles, stack workers to complete improvements faster, and build workers quicker. A narrator leader enjoys better relations with religious... With religions, sorry, I was trying to look at the time at the same time as reading. May recruit mercenaries and get... Ooh, really? And gains plus two orders per turn per city with a friendly family. A tactician leader gains a plus two vision around their units. Oh, that's not bad. Plus, their ranged units are hidden and friendly on neutral trees. Plus more. To access a launch offensive mission, click on the unit being led by your hero. I don't know which one's been led by my hero. Lumber mill? You want another lumber mill? Hard to tell the other ones haven't been made yet. Man, gardens is kind of pointless. And we could get another farm near. Let's get another lumber mill. And somebody has finished what they were doing. Get an officer. All right. Who were you leading, by the way? Rally troops. Is that your ability? I don't know. Who whose troops are you leading? It was a hoplite group, wasn't it? How do I know who your general is? Ah, you. 
Okay. So, launch offensive. Removes the attack cooldown of adjacent units and gives you. Costs 600! Huck! I know that now's really the time for that. Let's, let's worry about that later. Can you attack anything in your vicinity? Nope, I think we're just moving forward. Okay, can you please proceed forward? Nothing? We can attack people? This is a city, isn't it? But like, what do I attack? Oh, that. That's what I want to attack. Okay. Guess, can you go like one more square? Thanks. Didn't look particularly effective. You can't move any further, you guys. Ugh, can't go any further. You guys need to kind of get in there. I know they can't attack that, but they can get ready to attack some dudes around the other side of the uh, space. Can you get here? You can double occupy a square? No. Can you get them from there? Oh yeah, you can. I, I don't think he did any damage whatsoever, but you know, still nice. I think that's all of you. Watch the armies come through. Trading favors. Oligarch Demetrius of Pella approaches you with a proposition. Prince Consort, whatever his name is, Neo, is a talented merchant but also a bit of a miscreant who has run up considerable debt. Son of a bitch. If you could see your way to clear, <sighs> way clear to pay that debt and add him to your court, Oligarch Demetrius of Pella would be most appreciative. Ugh. Son of a bitch. A new court merchant, Neo, has joined the court. His keen attention to economic affairs. Okay, so we actually got him. And that's interesting. Can you train your child yet? Seven. No. How old is Oof, rough. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Better Hamlet? Sure. Why the hell not? Alrighty, you can move closer. Problem is, I've taken up all the goddamn space. Hmm. So I need to unlimber. Oh, it takes you a turn. Sorry. And I don't think you're close enough. I think you need to be more closer. Or maybe this is the space you can't... I don't know. New recruits. Seizing portions of Ostia, our soldiers encounter Roman jails full of foreign captives. Once freed, many of these prisoners offer to replenish our forces on the front lines. Nobody's died yet, but thank you. Shall these prisoners join our military ranks or do we grant them asylum in Rigian? Arm them and send them into battle. Let them settle citizens. Gain Axeman. I don't need them. Where were we? Oh, yeah. My dude. My dude. Where are you? Uh, fuck me. You. No? Nope. You. Here you go. Okay, you're nowhere near anybody constructive, damn it. So you probably don't need to use your ability then. So you can attack again. You can attack. You guys can't attack again. You're doing your silly thing. You guys can attack though. 
and you guys can attack. That's all I can do this turn. I can't get around you. It's surprising that their forces haven't come through yet. Alexander the Magnificent. Okay. A new court scholar, Faramino, Farmenio, has joined the court. His curiosity insight will aid Greece. That's nice, but like unnecessary. Ah. Okay. Metaphysics. Coinage. Land consolidation. Really? These lumber mills are still not producing anything? This is getting silly. I'm still at a negative. It's killing me! Okay, can you just... Where are... Where's the thing? Oh, it's still going. City breached! You have destroyed the city's defences and now occupy a Roman city. When a city is breached, it enters a state of anarchy. It is during this period that ownership of the city will change over to you. Yes, they don't need a settler. You must keep one of your units in the city at all times while capturing. During this time, the number of turns remaining before capture are displayed on the city bar. Once you've gained control of a city in anarchy, you'll be able to choose which of your families to give the city to. At this point, the city is yours. Alexander the Great! We made it! <laughs> It's time to avenge your father, Alexander. Direct the mighty Greek army to finish Rome off by capturing their remaining cities. I don't know how many there are, but we will do that. Does it say how many there are? Nope. Guess it's going to be guesswork. Okay, who's going to stay in the city? I am. Um, I think you're kind of fucked because you're on the city. You've got to stay there for three turns now. Sucker. Okay. Let's move everybody forward. Oh shit, bruh, you need to get out of there before you get attacked. <laughs> uh, can you... Uh, it's already... Relimber? <laughs> I don't know where this city is, but I guess we'll sort of find out. Oh, damn it. Eventually. I guess because it attacked this round. Okay, you, can you attack anything? No, let's no, just, just, let's just move on. So the units haven't moved yet. Now they have. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Everything's happening so quickly. We're going to be absolutely destroyed. Huh. Oh, they're so much stronger than we are. Holy shit. Why do we go up and then down? That was terrifying. Please don't do that. Fuck it. Just build it. Oh, we don't have the stone? Just buy it. Okay, this is not going well. We should probably bring our reinforcements in because we're getting crushed. Okay, focus, fire. To here. Crush them. Come in. There. Crush them. Sling. Kill them. Ah! Not dead yet. Where is my dude? Are you my dude? Okay. Hit these guys. Oh, you went adjacent. Oh, you're not my dudes. Sorry, I totally thought you were. You have to stay there. Okay. You, I can't goddamn figure out. But you can move now. How fantastic. <laughs> it's as far as it gets. Lols. Okay, I'm needing everybody else to come in. What's archers? If you could please oblige. Hoplites. 
Even you, I'll take. Use all the orders we have. Another military unit. You're a builder. Aha. I lost you part of the long way away. And we're at zero. Okay, I should have brought them in earlier. We're so dead. Uh, master officer completed. Okay. Elder officer. Go for it. Ah, they're flanking. <sighs> Not the archers. Ah, they're killing the archers. Ah, the archers! Holy shit, you obliged chariots. Obliterating. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. <sighs> he will study philosophy, alright? As child has retired for the field. Ugh. Oh, I don't want anybody. How about nobody? Oh my god, this is just a clusterfuck of epic proportions. Can you please go here and unlimber? Because I have problems. Okay, can you attack them? Can you attack them, please? I don't like them being behind you. Fuck. Where is it? Is everybody dead? I've literally only got four units left. Fuck me. At least I could get you guys in, that's something. Get them all as close as they can get. Everyone's going to die in the first wave. It's going to be the second. Maybe I should still be producing people rather than stopping the way I have. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. The Shoemaker. Not permitted to enter the prominent city courts. Duke Themistocles. Is he someone I know? Oh, that's my son. Whoop. And his friends spend their days... Son or brother? Grandson. Yep, cool. In the surrounding market with an erudite shoemaker. I mean, this is really... I've got bigger problems right now. Um, just cool. That's great. Yep. Oh, we've got Ostia. Oh, good. I can get the chariot off Ostia. Um... I don't know. Give it to them. Give it to them. I don't care. I don't care. I got bigger problems right now. You're using my actions up. No. Oh, you. Can you make any... any... Sure, warriors. We'll get the weakest of the week. Ten years?! Dude, we'll be over by then. Okay. Okay, let's assess. Who are we attacking? Give me an archer. Archers are fucking dead. I can't see their health. It's weird. Okay, who's mine? You so see these hoplites are mine. Alexander is you and the, you are the Hopolite. Uh, Steadfast. Unit already has this promotion. I guess I gotta pick that. Even though you're totally about to die. Let's 
It's more a people thing. Does that do any damage whatsoever? Not there. Have you guys attacked? Yes, yes you have. You guys, can you go up here as well? Attack them. And you guys may as well continue the trend. And attack them. you guys get? You guys can get into position to attack them or them or go in the middle and be sandwiched. Not ideal. <laughs> uh, we're kind of full up on space here. Um... Anybody else? Oh, hi. Yeah, you. If you, <laughs> you want to come up? That's it? Yep. Oh, shit. He old. 60. Oof. Dead. God, they hit so much harder than my guys do. Maybe I should have taken time to level them up before I did anything. Maybe this is a learning curve. See, look at that. I've got the training. If I just took my time, they look like they weren't going to kill me. I'm losing all my people. God, we're fucked. Uh, maybe we should be getting the next round of fighters. Yo, some extra hoplites wouldn't go too far astray. And some slingers who are weak as fuck, but, you know, range is nice. Okay, those guys, those guys, you guys. Oh, that's fucking wasteful. Just come here and kill. Oh, I didn't even see these dudes right here. <laughs> Lol. Nice. Dead. Uh, I think my Alexander the Great hoplites are dead. Very, very, very dead. Doesn't really tell me if he's the leader of anybody, does he? A general, a general, a general. Yeah, they're so dead. Ah. Okay, never mind. Have you guys attacked already? Nope. You guys did? Mm. Oh! There are soldiers here! Shit, I hope they're not making a play for uh, either my flank or for the city. Good lord. We're so dead. I'm doing terribly. Who hasn't attacked? Oh! I didn't even know you guys were here. Holy shit. Oops, that's so not the right button. Wow, you guys are pathetic. Yeah, they can't move any further. Oh, they could. Don't know why they didn't then. Yeah, I should have taken the time to 
to, to level my guys up. Oop, there goes my chariot. Jesus, they had four bars of health and they just get eviscerated? Definitely should have upgraded them a lot more. Uh, I'm doing some important work. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Purchase silk and fineries. Yeah. Stuff him. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Failing hard. Okay. Like, they kill me one shot, but, like, I'm struggling to get... Oh, God, where'd they go? Get anywhere. Oh. That's right, I wanted to get you further, didn't I? Oh no, now they are. Uh, yeah, I knew they would be doing that. and I can barely touch these guys and they'll just decimate me on their turn. <laughs> Should have focused a bit better there, but I didn't. That's on me. It. I just don't have anybody. Okay, that's them. Apparently I could hit again. Nope. Ooh, the axemen are strong. Against those particular units. Is it just them and the two the three down the bottom? Dumaliga is severely ill. That's unfortunate. Oligarch, me let the yep, that's unfortunate. Nice. Yeah, uh, not really focusing over there. I've, I've got a war to win here, and that's really my only focus. I, I don't want to worry about any of these things. Uh, it's saying about uncompromising as his father. That's, that's great. He will study tactics. Ooh. Men. Sally forth! And attack! Oh wait, that's a worker? I thought it was these dudes, my apologies. You will not invade my city. Okay, that's that cluster fox solved. Uh, oh, they ran away, that's right. Hmm, shit. Mm, I don't see them. Okay, everybody move in. That's very problematic when I can't see the enemy. Like, what if they're heading to my city? Who 
who hasn't moved? You guys, go this way. Oh, new slingers. Great. Get your butts as far here as you can. Okay, that's great. Choose production. Oh, it makes me want to do it. Fine. Happy? Have an acolyte. Oh, I'm now ill. To be fair, I'm really old. Uh, Jig Maliga has died. Oh, rip. Whoever that is is dead. Cool. It pains the court to bring you news of your brother's untimely death. The capital mourns. May the soul of Maliga the Insane find eternal rest. Prophet named Moses. <laughs> Why don't we just move on? Moses arrived in Ostia bearing a holy book. He claims that his God, the one only true God, bestowed his book. Uh, expel the monotheist. She is intelligent. Like I said, I've got a war to win here. I don't really care about their issues. So, we're going to try and find the slinger. Actually, we need to find the city. Where's the city? There it is. Found it. Guys are hard to kill. Oh, you already attacked? Okay, you need to come closer. Come closer. I mean, if we're next to the forum, you may as well attack it. You can't move. Take a pod. I don't really care. Your daughter cannot go grievance and is often angry, the most bitter person. Ooh, a war elephant. Nice, give her warlike. Physical confrontation. We'll just pick any options because this is not the focus. We are trying to kill people here. Did you all heal? Or can I just not deal enough damage to you? All of you. Oopsies, not what I meant to do. Done now. Alrighty. Next round. Ah, oh, damn, boat. I think of that. Ah, a new ambassador. Just pushing buttons. Uh, everyone is in agreement. It's in practical matters. Uh, I doubt the only question is: Should we focus on stealth or speed? Undetected. Choose a new ambassador. Sympathy. All right. Oh, 67. The ranged attack of people. Okay, I can't there. Yep, 
That worked out quite well. Okay, you guys are stuck there now. In we go. Who hasn't moved? Nope, that, that's everybody. Uh, dear Master Poet! <laughs> Repair damage! I didn't even know that was an option. I do now. Oop. Goodbye, archers. Hand gardens complete. Severely ill, coughing up mucus and suffering from sharp pains in his chest. King Alexander the Great fears he doesn't have much time left. Oh no, now my wife is severely ill. Rough. Oh. I want to completely defeat Rome. No, 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 no. Don't even try to take this away from me. This victory is going to be sweet. <laughs> Can you not attack Rome? Why can't you attack Rome? No idea. Whatever. Whoa. Not what I meant. Oh, because it wasn't the city. Wrong fucking square. Get to it. Now I've got to unlimber again. You have to stay there. Who are you? You're not a ranged option. Come here and flank the city, would you? Yeah, they, they can't do anything. Alrighty. Okay, that's great. Let's just hit buttons. Move on. <laughs> he made an amazing recovery. He's totally dead. Oh well, some other dude died. Oh, my daughter is now the head of a family. <laughs> and my grandson has gained courage. Nice, nice. Anywho. They're healed. I don't think so. Almost there. You guys can't actually reach anything, can you? Wouldn't cool that last final shot was what did it, but no. You're not gonna get there in time. Oh, my wife's dead. Rip. From cautious to upset, oh great. Oh, we finally get the portcullis. A bit late, don't you think? Okay, stick it out. Is it just me or does this bitch keep healing? Okay, let's go. You can't reach Rome? Oh, I'm not clicked on anybody. I thought I clicked on you guys. There it is. Woo! Victory! You have conquered Rome. To be fair, it is an introductory tutorial. It would be embarrassing if I couldn't defeat Rome. Though it was touch and go for a minute there. Okay, you in this tutorial you've learned how to prepare for war, capture cities, and defeat a major nation. This ends the Learn to Play tutorial series. We wish you well as you embark on your adventures in the old world. So this is all well and good. 
but I still don't know how to improve a person's disposition to me if I've already uh, tried to have a chat to them. It seems like once I've done that once, that's the only thing I can ever do to improve their disposition to me. So if my head of the, the religion state is not pleased with me for whatever reason, I'm stuffed. I don't know how to fix that. I kind of feel like it's something I should have learnt in this tutorial and maybe it did try to teach me that and I just didn't absorb the lesson. But it's going to be a struggle not being able to improve people's disposition the way I need to as I go forth. Ah, well, that's all we can do from there. But anyway, that is it for the tutorial of learning how to play Old World. So next time I'm going to start right into the new expansion, which I will point out is still beta content until it comes out. Uh, in May. And so, yes, next episode Heroes of the Aegean.